Hey everybody, what is going on? And it's Epic Video Game Master here once again. And we're going to play some more Pokemon Emerald. This is episode 4. Last time, we helped Wally catch a Pokemon and then found out from our dad that we're not strong enough to face him in a battle yet. This time, we're going to head over to Rustboro City and uh, do what our dad asked us to and uh, fight the gym leader there. So let's talk to this guy. We're going to throw a Pokemon, weaken it first, whatever, some not stuff we already don't know. Okay, let's head down here, talk to her. Oh no, I'm not a trainer. But that's why if trainers look you in the eye, then they'll battle you. Alrighty, like this guy, look me in the eye. <laughs> Alrighty, so he looked me in the eye. And we're going to battle this trainer here, what's his name? Uh, this is going to be Youngster Billy, so he's nothing different. Another Zigzagoon, I wonder how many of these we've seen before. Jeez. Uh, hit him with Absorb. Yeah, these beginning battles suck until after Rustboro City. The beginning battles are really boring. It's just the same Pokemon over and over, but it gets better. This game just gets better and better and better right till the end, actually. So that's why it's one of my favorites. Excuse me. Um, so we got 63 XP. Hopefully that's enough. Nope. So he's gonna send out Seedog. Seedot is a new Pokemon. Uh, Seedot is uh, pretty good for a team. Its final evolution is actually really good. Why did I just use Absorb on a Grass type? Not very effective. Um, but yeah, Seedot's a very good Pokemon. It's something I would recommend for those of you guys who are uh, looking for something powerful, Grass type. Maybe if you didn't start with Trico, I would recommend you take a Seedot on your team. I don't think you can obtain it yet though, but I recommend you take one. So he's going to use Harden. Okay, uh, I'm just mashing the A button because these fights can drag on. So I think after this episode, um, he's I'm going to start speeding the bat trainer battles up or just cutting them out completely, I'll decide. But um, yeah. Oh my goodness, he used Bide. So we spend a couple turns to build up energy and unleash it. So let's just pound him there. Wow, 111 EXP. That's a lot of EXP. So we got to level 11, which is nice. And we learned a new move, Quick Attack. So quick, quick Attack, so even if you're slower than a Pokemon, you'll attack first. I mean, hence the name, Quick Attack. But, whatever. So let's just head up here. Uh, this guy here is a trainer, so we're just going to go ahead and fight him. Okay, so he has a new Pokemon that we haven't seen before, Magikarp. Now, Magikarp is a water type, and of course, grass is strong to water, so we're just going to hit it with Absorb, hopefully heal our HP as much as possible, and we were not able to take it out in one hit, unfortunately. But I'll just finish it with Pound. Magikarp only knows one move, Splash. It doesn't learn Tackle until level 15, so basically until level 15, it's almost, like, useless. But, there is an upside to Magikarp. Its final evolution form is very good. It's a very good Pokemon. So, yeah, it's, it's, I would recommend using that on your team if you want. Um, so, Mr. Brittany lives here. Let's go see. And Mr. Brittany's not home. Okay. Well, let's just head over here. So, we got some more berries here. Okay, so now that we picked those berries, head over here. It looks like we got another trainer battle, but before we do, I want to just uh, train up a little bit. I want to try to get uh, Rango to level 13. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys when Rango's level 13. I'm just going to be fighting this grass. So, yeah. Crap. Okay, so I didn't exactly get up to level 13, but I accidentally walked in front of this trainer, which means I have to battle her. So yeah, let's just battle her. What's her name? Ah. Lady Cindy would like a battle. She's gonna send out a level 7 Zigzagoon. Now this is a not a new Pokemon. I mean like <laughs> how many of these could I possibly see in this in one episode? Let's count. No, I'm not gonna count how many Zigzagoons I've seen in this episode, but that you get the point. There's a lot of Zigzagoons. Um Yeah, so I'm just gonna take it out. This should give us a good amount of EXP. Uh, I didn't, I don't think I'm gonna quite train up to level 13, but, well, a full restore? Why? Why would she use a full restore on level 7? Ugh. Oh my 
goodness, that's just, that's, that's like what the Elite 40 is. That fully heals your Pokemon. It heals HP and status infliction. That's like, that's an item that you don't see until way later in the game. So she's using a full restore now. That's, uh, it's pretty extreme. Anyway, let's just pound this thing to death. And let's see how much HP we get. We get 90 HP, that's not bad. And we defeated Lady and Cindy. We got $1,400, wow. So I'm just gonna go heal up and I'll be right back. Alright, so now that I just went to the Pokemon Center, there's only there's no other way to go but up here. So let's go into this forest. So this is Petalburg Woods. This is a new area. Uh, several new Pokemon you can find here. Um, this area is very nice. And just letting you guys know, we will be catching the next member of our team here. Spoiler alert! So, before I even move anywhere, I'm gonna go look through this grass until we find him. So, yeah, I'm just gonna be running around through this grass. Uh, typical Pokemon like Wormple. I'll usually, I'll, probably, I'll put on screen all the Pokemon you can find in, the, in this area, but, um... Yeah, you can pretty much... I'm just gonna see you guys when I find what I'm looking for. Alright, so we found him! This is Slack Off. And it's female and it's level 6. This is going to be the next member of our team. So let's go ahead and weaken him, weaken him down and catch him. Um, wow. There's a good display of what Slack Off is capable of. I mean, in its final evolution form, it's really good. As you can see there, it said Slack Off is loafing around, which uh, <laughs> sounds a bit funny, but that's actually Slack Off's ability. It'll attack one turn, and then the next turn, it's just loafing around. Um, so, yeah, when it evolves, that goes away, and then in its final evolution, that comes back. But I have a very good use for it, actually. Um, despite that, it's a very powerful Pokemon. It has very high attack, and that's why I'm going to be using it on my team, because, well, it's, it's awesome. So we caught him in the Premier Ball. Alright, so to nickname him... I don't know, what does he look like? Sloth. He is a sloth, so let's just name him Sloth. <laughs> just, just Sloth. No context to the name at all, just Sloth. <laughs> okay, so let's just go ahead and use a potion on him, because I don't want to walk all the way back to the Pokemon Center. No, not on him! Uh, on, on Sloth. Alright. <laughs> so we got a new member of our team, Sloth. Um, he's actually going to be a member of our team. So let's go to my slave. Okay, so my slave has an item for us. This is what I mean. He has an antidote. So he just picks up random items sometimes, and it's, it's actually a very nice feature. Um, so over here, this is what I was talking about when there's items here. So you press A on the empty spot, and you get a potion. So that's nice. Uh, head down here, you can grab the item that was over here. This item right here, you can grab it. It's just a Pokeball, nothing special. Um, anything over here? Nope. So we're just gonna head down here so we don't have to walk through any grass again. Back into Petalburg Woods, where our adventure continues. And so we got a trainer battle, and I forgot to switch Sloth to the first slot. Sorry for the cutaway there. Um, he's gonna. Okay, so let's just get right into it. So, oh no, I did put sloth in the first slot. Get it? I put sloth in the first slot. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yawn is a delayed sleep, sleep status inflicting move. We're just gonna use scratch. It's actually gonna be an awful. As you can see, how powerful sloth is. I mean, slack off. Although he loafs around every other turn, but. When he does hit, it's really powerful. His attack is really high, so... In fact, we'll take a look at it after. But, yeah, that's why I'm adding him to my team. So, no, we're gonna keep him out there. Just because I need him to get some levels. So let's go ahead and take a look at his attack. Not shift summary. Yeah, it's actually not that high, but his attack and defense right now, but when he's when he's finally evolved, his attack is just insane. That, how good it is, it's crazy. So anyway, it's just uh, this is gonna be a long battle, so I'll see you guys when it's done. 
Oh, finally that battle's over. Oh my goodness, this guy had four Wurmples. It was awful. It was an awful battle. Whatever. Just heal him up. Holy, that was a long and dreadful battle. Okay. Yeah, some of the battles in this game are just like crazy. Ugh. Anyway, there's a paralyzed heal there. And if you head when we head over here and we head up, we see this guy. So let's see what he has for us. Hmm. Not at one to be found. Not a one to not a one to be found? That doesn't make sense. Anyway, have you seen any Pokemon here called Shroomish around here? I really love that Pokemon. Well, I've seen like 30 of them, but whatever. <laughs> I was gonna ambush you, but I had Waddle. I had to Dwaddle in Petalburg Woods forever, didn't you? I got sick of waiting, so here I am. Oh, you, Devin, whatever. Hand over those papers. Oh no, look, it's a criminal. Hi, you're the Pokemon trainer, aren't you? You gotta help me, please. Huh? What do you think you're doing? What, you think you're gonna protect him? No one crosses Team Mokwa and gets any mercy. Not even a kid. Come on, battle me. Okay, fine, we'll battle you. <laughs> okay, so we got Team Aqua member. So this is Team Aqua is the main one of the main uh, uh, teams in the, in the game. So it's our first introduction with them. So I'm gonna hit this thing with a yawn just to show it off. Um, this I don't think. Okay, 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 whoa, 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 we need to get Sloth out there, he's underleveled, and, yeah, so we're gonna send out Durango, because I just don't think Sloth can handle a Puchiana level 9 by himself. Yeah, that thing hits hard. Okay, so that Yawn took an effect there, put it to sleep for a couple turns, so we're just gonna hit it with some quick attacks and try to take it out. Fast asleep. Just use absorb, see what happens. I wanna see which one does more damage. Oh, okay, critical hit. Wow, okay, we got pretty lucky there. And that's the end of the Team Aqua member. Uh let's see. Sloth game Sloth grew to level 7, which is nice. And he learned Encore. So now Encore basically if an enemy uses a move and you use Encore, then an enemy has to use that move for two to five turns. Pretty good move. I'd say so if they use like you know, how if like say Puchiana used Howl and I used Encore, then I could take it out by the time it's done, then it can't attack me. So that's pretty nice. Okay, so you've got some nerve meddling with Team Aqua. Come on and battle me again. I wish I could say that, but I'm out of Pokemon. And hey, we of Team Aqua are also after something in Rustboro. I'll let you go for today. Okay, so it looks like there's some trouble going on in Rustboro City with Team Aqua. I'll give you a Great Ball as my thing. So a Great Ball is just better than a Pokeball. <laughs> it's like got the same idea. You catch your Pokemon with it. It's just better than a Pokeball. Oh, it's a crisis. I can't be wasting time. Hmm, so it seems like Team Aqua wanted something from that guy in Rustboro City. There's some trouble going on there. What does this guy say? Yo, your Pokemon, if you, uh, whatever, you want to avoid battle, stay out of tall grass. All right, Captain Obvious. See, there's an empty spot there. There's most likely an item there. Here we got a Silicoon. Silicoon is the evolved form of Rumpel, or one of them, at least. And so that's what I was saying. It's not very good. So, yeah. Um, yeah, there's a Pokeball right here, hidden. A lot of people don't know about that. So, we got another battle here. I think I'm gonna skip this one because, well, it's pretty much gonna be the same as all the other battles we face. And honestly, it sucks. Like these. Okay, so these beginning battles, I'm telling you, after Rustboro City is when the game gets really good. But until then, these battles are just kind of dreadful. So, yeah, this kind of sucks. Oh no, he's using the Harden strategy, raising his defense. I kid you not. That battle took seven minutes. Holy, that was really annoying. It was like, it just kept using Leech Life and, and, and it just, oh, it was awful. I actually almost lost the battle, uh, surprisingly, but yeah. So here we have an Aether that heals your move PP. All right, let's see if we can make it through the grass. Okay, so we did. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Next time on Pokemon Emerald, we're going to be heading up there. Hopefully that's Rustboro City, but I don't know. See you guys then.